Hey guys, welcome back once again to Niagara Fire Corals. Today, we're going to take a look at all the systems that I have down here. I got a brand new Verso. I'm going to throw this on the 20 gallon Nano that you see over my left shoulder here. And uh, we're just going to have some fun today. So make sure you stick around, hit that like and subscribe button. Let's get into the video. Go, go. all right guys so to start off with um i'm just going to take you guys in uh, for a closer look at this 270 here and uh we'll have a look at a couple of the new pieces that i i brought in recently and I'll show you guys a little bit of eye candy and then we'll get into installing the Versa on the 20 gallon Nano. This isn't necessarily a new piece of mine. This is a New York Nix torch. I just love it. It's a beautiful piece. But uh, right next door to it. Now it's first thing in the morning here guys so nothing's really opened up yet. This is usually double or triple this size but that's the holy grail torch I just picked that up just recently and I know it's not much different but this is the pink tip torch and we got the Joker over there and again none of them are really opened up yet it's uh, first thing in the morning so lights just came on about 15 minutes ago Here's one of my favorites here. This is the Reef Raft Pink Matrix. Really, really nice piece. There's the WWC or Worldwide Corals, Terra Red. Right here, that is the Pinky the Bear. I just cannot get over this Jason Fox Avatar Chalice. This thing is absolutely massive and I just love it. I think it looks awesome in the tank. It's a, it's a beautiful, uh, it's a beautiful uh, conversation piece right, right in the front. Now that piece is about 14 inches from edge to edge across that way and it's about eight inches from the bottom to the top. So this, this is a huge chalice here. There's the creamsicle. I really like the color on this piece. I don't know if you guys remember the size of this green slimer from the last video, but you can see it's just exploding with growth. It's doing awesome. That is the ARC Magic Dragon. The Greg's Unicorn. That is the Tangerine Shortcake. cornbread birthday cake of course you got a classic in the back here rainbow loom and right here in the center that is our rainbow splice you can see it's kicking out a ton of new branches so uh, really excited about that uh, you can't see the red but there is some red on the opposite side of it but that is a uh, going to be a beautiful piece once it grows in this one as well that is the home wrecker junior from frag garage thank you adam we got the pearl berry here i 
Right here we have the Merlin staff. That is the golden jaw dropper. There's a cookie monster. That is the Reef Raff Wolverine. So we have a lot of beautiful pieces coming. Let's see if I can get a shot of the Fox Flame in the back here. There we go, got the Fox Flame. And of course, we still have some beautiful hammers. But the tank is doing really well. I'm still running the Chris Meckley method. And uh, I'm, I'm happy with the results I'm seeing. Uh, everything seems to be really happy. I got good bulb extension. I got good growth. And uh, we're going to continue doing, doing that. And uh, we're going to be sticking with it. So before I take you into showing you the frag tank, which is just absolutely stocked full right now of acros, uh, let's get into installing the, the Versa on the 20 gallon nano. Okay guys, I know I've done this in the past already with uh, a previous Versa that I have. However, I thought I'd do it real quick for those of you that haven't seen it and they'll save you from having to look back at my previous videos but I will show you very quickly what comes in the box now I, I haven't even know I just opened this myself now and I'll give you a quick rundown of what you can expect to get in the box when you buy one of these versus okay so very quickly you're gonna get your owner's manuals and your quick startup guide get some lubrication for the uh, dosing tubing and in this box here show you real quick you will get this is all the different ends depending on where you are um, of course where I am here I will show you this is the end that I'll be using and of course the power supply itself and you just put it in place and you snap it in and there you are you're ready to go okay so that's your power supply and this is just a filler piece there's nothing in it of course you get the versa itself in the back here this is your mounter uh sorry your your bracket to mount it so you mount this on the wall, and then the Versa slides onto it. And that's how you would mount it to the wall. And you get a vial for calibrating your Versa. And you get a little bit of mounting hardware in the bag here. So that's what you get in the box, guys. So let's get into installing this. All right, guys, so I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what we've done here for the Versa. So I'll just show you here real quick. You can see there I've installed the Versa, um, you know, just with the included hardware. I didn't see any point showing you guys that anyone can can mount a pump. And then, uh, of course, down here, uh, what we're going to do is the Versas, they take like a hard line. You can't uh, you can't attach the the standard uh, standard uh, rubber dosing tubing to them without an attachment. So what I usually do is I just take a little chunk of RO and then I slide slide some of my tubing over it, and then this this will go right into the Versa. It works fine. I've used it a long time, never had any issues. So I made one piece, as you can see here. This one here is going to go to the tank and then I have a second one. You 
can see here with that same end on it and then I got a piece of uh, rigid rigid dosing tubing and then I've taken the product that I'm gonna try out which is the ready to reef by Fauna Marin and in the top, very top of the lid here I don't know if you guys can see it but I've drilled a very small hole that perfectly fits this tubing We'll slide the tubing down and in. And that's how we're gonna pull from this bottle. Now, just a little tip, this, this rigid tubing here, I do cut the very bottom of it on a slight angle. That way you don't have to worry about it forming a seal and, uh, and actually locking itself off. If you cut a little angle on it, it'll always pull product, okay? So that's what we've done. I'm gonna get these hooked up and uh, we'll get this pump going. All right, guys, got the Verso all hooked up. You can see the ready to reef bottle there. Dosing tube coming out, goes to the Versa. Comes up the back side here. You can see it's attached to my auto top off system and it'll get dripped in the back of the 20 gallon nano. Guys, I didn't bother taking you through the whole setup process with the Versa. I have done it in a previous video. So what I'll do is I'll link that video at the end of this one with the cards. And if you want to see how to actually link it to your Mobius, I am using the Mobius app. So that's how that'll be set up. That video will walk you through how to set it up on Mobius and how to calibrate it. So that's all you'll need. If, you, if you're interested in seeing that, just go check out that video. And again, I'll link it at the end of this one. All right, guys, since we just finished putting the Versa on the 20 gallon Nano, I'll start out with this tank. I know I gave you a little bit of eye candy from the 270, but I'm gonna take you guys through all the tanks I have down here and show you guys just a little update on how they're all doing. So this is the 20 gallon nano. I'm gonna take you guys in for a closer look, but you can see Bonnie and Clyde still doing fine in there. That's the two clowns. And I have since added a couple of the green chromises in there with them. And everybody's getting along and doing fine. So let's, let's go in and uh, take a little bit of a closer look at this 20 gallon nano. Let me just show you how things are doing. We got a couple of beautiful plates in here. Doing really well. Forest fire, mushroom. Got some Superman Rodactus in the back there. A couple of hammers in here. They're a little bit dark still. As you know, the tank got a little bit neglected a little while ago. Oh, we got, look at that little Estrina star. We'll have to get that guy out of there. But, uh, some of them are still a little dark. We got the gold hammer and just the purple and uh, green standard hammer that everybody knows. The A cans, they're doing good. Again, everything is just starting to open up. Lights have only been on now for maybe an hour. But uh, the A cans are all doing very well. In the back, back there, we got some gold rim Rodactus. We've got this Sclemia here that a friend of mine gave to me. It wasn't doing too well, so uh, we're trying to bring it back and, and save it. And it, it seems to be doing better than it was. We got this one here, which I am going to be doing a, a video on shortly. I'm gonna show a different way of fragging these. So make sure you guys check that video out when I put it up. Moving on, this is another this is a Yuma. It's supposed to be, uh, I can't remember exactly what it is. It's supposed to be something special, but again, wasn't doing well. So I have it, uh, trying to save it, bring it back, see what, see what happens with it. The Duncan's still doing really well. And then of course, back in the back, we've got our jawbreaker mushrooms. And then we've got another Another uh, mushroom in the back here. See if I can zoom in. 
I threw some goldenrod in here just to see. Let's see if I can get it in, in picture here. So I threw goldenrod in here. It's now been in here a couple of weeks. Still doing good. And then of course we've got uh, a couple of torches that we've always had up the top here. They're doing good. Uh, colors not the greatest, but uh, it's coming back now. It's one of the main reasons that we uh, we put the verse on here is we're going to be dosing everything all in one. We're going to be getting our traces. We're going to be getting our calcium, magnesium, alkalinity, everything. This torch here I thought was a goner, but it seems to be starting to come back. So we'll see what happens with it. But um, you know, the Nano is on the road to recovery. It's doing better. And uh, we'll move on to the next tank here. Here we are guys, we're back at the 80 gallon frag system that's attached to the 270. Just thought I'd bring you guys in here and show you. This tank is, as you can see, it is pretty well stocked full. That being said, I am getting ready for the Niagara Coral Expo. This is the second annual this year on April 28th. And I will be there again as a vendor. So make sure you guys stop in, say hi. And uh, if you're interested in purchasing any of these frags, I will have them there. But this is the, the 80 gallon frag system that's attached to the 270 and it is pretty well all acros with the exception of you know I have a few few other pieces down the bottom here but uh, that's that one all right guys as you can see sump area nothing is really changed here we're still uh, running dual skimmers we have the LED lighting backdrop and uh, I haven't changed anything at all in here guys everything seems to be working so I don't want to change anything everything seems to be doing well in the system so we're gonna leave everything alone as it is but um, this is the one system you got the 80 gallon you got the, the massive sump that we got down here and that's all attached to the 270 we have the 20 gallon nano which i just showed you guys is a totally separate system and then uh i'll take you out to the next system all right guys here we are this is the newer frag system that i set up a few months ago and this is a 150 gallon frag tank i had to start taking some of my overflow now i did struggle with this tank it is starting to do better finally now but uh, I think it was just because this tank was bare bottom uh, very little in the way of live rock or anything so anyone that starts a tank like that they know that it is much more of a struggle to get it going but uh, the tank is doing well now and uh, so that's the 150 gallon we're running this off three Orphix and then we have a couple of T5s in there as well with this painting guys my brother painted this for me and it is awesome it glows under the blue lighting just got that uh, nothing really has changed underneath still running the, the same coral box skimmer and the calcium reactor on this system auto top off and an apex so in this system here we have the yellow tang we have a blue powder blue tang I have a couple of clowns and I've also put a couple of green promises in here as well. So that is the third system. So we have, now we have the 20 gallon nano, the 270 with the 80 and huge sump, which is approximately 350 to 400 gallon system. And then we have, this is the 150 gallon frag system here. And we'll move on to my last one. All right guys, this is the last system I have. This one is going to be the simplest one of them all. It is simply a Reef Casa Studio 12. I absolutely love the dimensions of this tank. I put a Prime HD on the top. 
we have an auto top off that I did install. I wasn't going to originally, but um, I just, I don't have the time guys to, to manually be topping off. So I did add an auto top off. I put a wider flare nozzle on this than the one that comes with it because the pump that comes with this tank guys is actually surprisingly strong and with the narrower um, flare nozzle that comes with the tank I found with how fine my sand is which it is very fine so kind of my fault but the flare nozzle was actually causing mounds to build and uh, what I did is I just simply replaced it with a wider flare nozzle and it corrected that issue. So let's have a look at some of the new corals we've put in here so far. So we've got a beautiful bounce mushroom right there in the middle. We've got these beautiful, like an elephant ear mushroom. Although they are a little different than the one that we all kind of remember from years ago. These ones have got a lot of red in them, which is, I found to be pretty cool. So that's why I picked them up. Uh, that right there, believe it or not, guys, we're going to watch this piece right here. We're going to watch this grow together. That is the tiniest scolemia or scoli as most people call them that I have ever seen. It is actually smaller than my baby fingernail. So I put it in here so we could keep a close eye and watch that grow together as a, as a group. Uh, over here, we have another one of those Yumas. Again, this one wasn't doing well. So we're gonna see what happens with it. There's another one of them. I believe these are supposed to bounce uh, according to the person I got them from. So we'll see what happens with them. Uh, we have another bounce mushroom up top here. I put a, let's see if I can come around the side here. I put a couple of nice jawbreaker mushrooms in here. So hopefully they take off. And then in the back here, we've got several different types of blastos. We've got that light purple and green one. We've got a pink one there on the sand bed. And then we got the black cherries in the back. We got the Iron Man Blasto there. And then we have this one, which is our, our deep wine colored one. It's a really nice one. Forest Fire Mushroom. And then of course, we've put a bunch of A cans in here as well. And we're just gonna let them grow out and do their thing. Now I might not have the lighting quite high enough in here yet, but I'm slowly bringing it up. I don't want to bleach anything out, so I, I can tell that the A-cans, whoop, the A-cans are a little, a little dark, so we'll see what happens. I'm in no hurry whatsoever, because nothing happens quick in this hobby, guys. Just always remember that. But this is the Studio 12 we just started up. This is our newest tank and uh, I'm super happy with it. So right here from my desk guys, this is, this is kind of my sanctuary. It's where I love to be. I have the Studio 12 there, my desk. I have the 20 gallon Nano here. I have the 150 gallon system over there. I have the 270 here. And then the 80 gallon and a huge sump is in the back room. I mean, this is uh, this is my sanctuary when I sit down here and I work on videos for you guys and just relaxing and doing my thing. This is what I have to look at every day and I couldn't be more thankful for what I'm able to do. So as always guys, I appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't already, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button below. Keep those comments coming, and until the next time, make sure you take care, and happy reefing.